Hi everyone, it's Victor speaking. And today I'm here to talk about how to lose weight with astrology. And maybe I'm not the right person because I am uh, quite big myself, but um, I like doing some astrological research and I was wondering how can I balance my diet with the helps of planets. And especially the reason why this came to my mind was because I recently moved to Bulgaria where um, basically my Venus became visible. So in my natal chart, Venus is underneath the horizon. So it's a little bit of in, in darkness, but now um, by moving here, actually it's above the horizon. So that's good. And another thing which I've noticed as a change is that Mars is now conjunct in my rising sign. And I feel a lot more vital and a lot more active. And I'm going for a walk with my doggies three times a day. We are in the park at least one hour. They are running around. So it's quite exciting, actually. So, and it gave me an idea of uh, giving you a little bit of a description of you know, each of the planet, what could be, what could they represent in your body? And maybe how can that help you to lose weight if you are struggling with weight problems also? Now, uh, please uh, comment um, in the box below about um, any of these um, constellations and combinations, whether they are relevant um, in your chart and if you, especially if you have got any type of weight management issues, probably weight loss is one of the most common New Year's uh, resolution, uh, because after the holidays, we want to get rid of excess weight. And if you are wondering what uh, positions in the horoscope that might indicate weight problems, then this video is actually for you. And I'm going to try to give you some remedies as well of how to cope with that. So astrology is a symbolic language that can help us recognize connection between our physical, emotional and spiritual needs. You have every planet represented in your birth chart, each one representing an aspect of your body, mind and spirit also. And in addition, every single category of food has an astrological correspondence as well. And when these planets are out of balance, that's when we can start craving uh, corresponding foods according to the planetary alignment. So uh, the most common planets which are associated with gaining weights, weight are Jupiter, which is actually responsible for carbohydrate metabolism and expansion. Venus, which is very much associated with sweet tastes and overall cravings. And of course, the moon, which represents your body. Now, I tend to call moon as a shape shifter. So depending on its progressed phase, our body might be inclined to grow as well, depending, of course, on the natal condition of your moon. Now, starting with Venus, which is the planet of love, beauty and pleasure, but it also rules over the serotonin, uh, boosting carbohydrates in your body. So when you feel sad or depressed, actually you might crave sweet carbohydrates more than usual because you want to be uh, pumping up those feel-good moments within your brain, basically, your receptors. Now, um, just um, to mention it, because I think it's interesting, eating chocolate is actually releasing the same uh, hormones in your body than having, for instance, a sexual intercourse. So those who have got sweet tooth, they need to be thinking about why their Venus is out of balance. So look at your natal Venus. Uh, by sign, aspect, and house position, and try to make that Venus happy. So Venus is all about um, um, connecting with uh, people. It's a bridge-building planet. <coughs> Beauty, harmony, and self-worth. Especially the self-worth part is going to be important by looking at how you can boost that. So maybe if your Venus is in the sign of um, Virgo, somehow you are, uh, you feel good about yourself when you are useful. So maybe you need a schedule when it comes to your diet. 
uh, or maybe something to do with lifestyle. And obviously you want to be looking at the house position as well. If it's in the seventh house, then maybe you want to be scheduling some quality sweet moments with your partner or with your friends even. Um, now, also, if you have got, for instance, uh, uh, Venus in the sign of Aquarius, then maybe a night out with your friends can actually help you to, um, you know, to, to balance out that body and mind. Or maybe if you have got Venus in Taurus, then actually you should be going and having a massage or some type of beauty treatment because that Venus wants to feel good about herself. Now, Venus's counterpart planet is Mars. So also Mars can help with those cravings as well, which by the way, rules over protein, iron, and anything that builds blood and your muscles. So what Mars does is it fires up your physical energy and it motivates you to move. So if you are looking for immediate ways to kind of counterbalance your uh, sweet cravings, then you can also do that by Mars placement. So maybe if Mars is in the sign of Aquarius, you want to be doing some type of team sport. Or when Venus is, uh, sorry, Mars is in the sign of um, uh, Pisces, then you might want to be going and do swimming or some type of martial arts or something to do with any type of water sports, really, but also dancing could be very, very good as well. Now, intuitively, when I was 15, um, basically, um, I started struggling with my weight. It started bugging me. And uh, I started taking uh, dance classes. And uh, I can't tell you how much it regulated my body. Within three months, I lost so much. I was doing actually acrobatic rock and roll, which is all about having your partner thrown around your body. So, you know, you do need stamina for it. And so I built muscles and, um, and uh, yeah, and because basically... Um, dancing is also related to Neptune. Neptune is in my 10th house. So intuitively what I did was I signed up for a competition, a dance competition, um, because Neptune, uh, you know, in the 10th house somehow becomes a career planet. So in that case, you can do dance for not just for pleasure, but career as well. And because uh, Venus and Mars in my chart also in Pisces, so that Neptunian energy is somehow important. So that was my remedy and it really helped me. Uh, I am fascinated by martial arts, so I know I should be doing that. And I definitely want to, um, because I think it's also gonna help me regulate my body quite nicely. Now, when it comes to, oh, by the way, mentioning about Mars, it does rule acidic food as well. So the danger of uh, acids um, could be coming from drinking way too much Coke, for instance, Coca-Cola. So um, Mars rules uh, those drinks. So you might need to be able to cut that back, especially if you have got Mars, for instance, in uh, fire signs or even earthy signs as well. Now, when it comes to salt, um, actually that is ruled by Saturn. So Saturn represents structure, responsibility, focus. It crystallizes things. Just think about um, salt, which is actually a kind of crystal. So um, you want to have to think about uh, how do you have issues with responsibility, structure, or concentration in your life if you are craving for too much salt? And um, if you are craving of salt, make sure you are getting proper electrolytes and minerals in your diet. That's how you can compensate that Saturn. But on a psychological level, you know, how is my concentration and focus level? That's what you're going to have to kind of think about. Some of us, like me, are sometimes uh, have cravings for fatty fried foods, especially in winter month, I guess, when the body needs a lot more moisture and fat has got that. 
Now, um, when it comes to uh, cravings for fatty, rich food, then think about why is your Jupiter not happy? So, for instance, in my chart, I do have Jupiter and Moon conjunction in the sign of Sagittarius. So, and also in the 10th house again. So that Jupiter is ha uh, happy when it can connect to foreign cultures or learning a language, but somehow it is also related with my profession. I have noticed if I work 10 or 12 hours a day, I don't think of food, but as soon as I put the work down, all of a sudden I start eating, most probably because I don't feel useful. So that's a key motivation for people who have got second, 10th or 6th house interests. Um, they want to feel useful and uh, if they don't so, then all of a sudden they somehow want to overcompensate and they might do that with food. So, by the way, Jupiter also rules over your liver, which is basically the meta metabolizing uh, organ for fat. So, um, yeah, just think about why your Jupiter is not happy. Uh, now, another planet which we mentioned as potentially something we can blame if we are putting on weight is Neptune. And Neptune rules anything to do with uh, creativity, spirituality. But when it comes to the body, it's very much about alcohol and drugs. Now, we know that one of the good uh, parts of Neptune is creativity. And when it's out of balance, then you need to do some creative endeavors. Uh, otherwise, you might have got the urge to relax, to retreat, to escape everything, <coughs> and maybe spending way too much time in the bedroom. So Neptune can be all about dancing, singing, creativity. Look at the sign, uh, what your Neptune has got, and especially with uh, the slow-moving planet, the outer planet, look at their aspects. So does it have, for instance, a good shrine to Venus because singing could be helping? Or does it have any aspect to Mars because then some type of Marsian sport of course, combined with Neptune could be helping there. So let's have a look at some of the significators of uh, the natal chart, why we have got the tendency to put on weight. So when it comes to the rising sign, the most dangerous ones are Taurus, Cancer, uh, Pisces and Sagittarius. Sagittarius and Pisces, because they don't have boundaries. Um, they tend to be eating a little bit quicker as well. And therefore, what happens is that uh, they don't feel that their stomach is full. Taurus and Cancer, because they are associated with uh, eating. So Taurus rules anything to do with your mouth and throat. So something you put in your mouth. And uh, Cancer actually does rule your stomach. Now, Jupiter, when it's on angles, it could be quite prominent. Um, Jupiter on the rising sign, especially within 10 degrees of your ascendant, could cause a weight management issues, but the same on your descendant as well. Maybe when Jupiter is on your descendant, actually, you want to be pleasing your partner by saying, you know, oh, I'm going to eat that food you cooked, it's delicious, and so forth. But I've also seen this prominent, especially when Jupiter is around uh, the IC or the MC, because then the parents might have given this habit to them. And again, maybe according to the sign, if it's in the sign of Capricorn, then eat now type of energy because we might not have food tomorrow. And uh, that's why Jupiter is kind of holding here. Now, Jupiter overall in water signs, unfortunately, has got the tendency to put on weight or when Jupiter and Moon are in the sixth house. Now, sixth house is so much to do with your lifestyle, your daily habits. And let's not forget you eat on a daily basis, right? So um, with that Jupiter, we do need to regulate how many times, what the portion is. Probably you're going to have to go a little bit Virgo-like, having a scale, and then that's what I'm going to be doing, or eating with a smaller spoon, or using a smaller plate, which looks fuller, and so forth. And Moon, 
Um, also Jupiter as well in the sixth house. Once you don't do the work you enjoy doing, these two planets become extremely frustrated here and uh, we start building a castle around ourselves. Another indication is uh, some disharmonious aspect between Jupiter and Venus. Now, uh, Jupiter is something which is expanding. It's a little bit of a greedy energy. And Venus is all about pleasure. So this is usually the aspect when people are comfort eating. Obviously, the disharmonic aspect is showing you that something is out of balance in your life. Another thing which is worth mentioning is stelliums in the second house or in the sign of Taurus. Now, stellium is a concentrated energy. And uh, usually we need to pull the energy out and then put it into the opposite house. If you don't know much about stelliums that I'm going to be making a, a webinar on that this Sunday. <coughs> Sorry about coughing, but I've got a little bit of a flu. And uh, this uh, class is going to be um, giving you um, information about each stellium in signs and houses as well as how to break down your stellium, who is the most important planet in there, who is the captain, basically, as well as what happens when there is a transit to it. Now, second house generally talks about the food intake and how you hold on to things. So if you have got a stellium in the second house, you're going to have to learn how to release things sometimes and not to become too possessive. By the way, the eighth house is all about elimination, going to the loo. So uh, if you have got a, a stellium, you might want to be looking at how I can release that food in what ways. And maybe that's going to be Aries on your eighth house cusp. So that's going to be all about some quick movement shortly. Also, heightened energy in the sign of Cancer and Pisces could cause uh, weight problems or Moon and Jupiter in any type of alignment. For instance, in my case, I do have Moon and Jupiter conjunction. Moon does rule uh, my fifth house, which is very much about the pleasurable, pleasurable things in life. Um, and as we said, Moon does rule your stomach. So uh, Jupiter does expand that, unfortunately. And Mu, uh, sorry, Venus in the sign of Taurus or Cancer with some disharmonious aspect, usually with the slow moving planets, could be also causing some type of weight management problems. So astrologically speaking, if you want to start your diet, you should be doing that when the moon is shrinking because uh, then the body is going to start shrinking as well. So actually starting a diet around new moon is not necessarily a great idea. You should do that after actually full moon, maybe on the fourth, fifth day of a full moon. So pretty much that's what I would be um, mentioning to you about diet. I hope you have enjoyed this video. And then if you did so, then press like and and ring the notification bell, and also just share this video with others, especially who are in need to maintain their weight. Uh, please leave comments below if you have got any of these com combinations in your chart, and uh, look at some of the good aspects to that. And that could be maybe a solution which is going to be helping you lose weight. Thank you for your attention and see you very shortly with another video. Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.